bookies and today we are going to go over books on my April TBR so let's get started So um, April, I'm doing things a little bit differently. Um, first of all, I'm going to go through the books I'm on tour for and also um, the NetGalley books that I want to get to in this month. However, I also went through and I severely cut down my TBR. Um, we went from like 200 on the currently reading on Goodreads to 18. Yay B. <laughs> Um, but I went through and I categorized all of my reads and I will, I will get to it later what the categories are and stuff like that. But basically we, we slimmed it down a lot for me to make this a little bit easier. I'll go through that later in the video. But first we're going to go over the books that I am on tour for for April. So the first one off is Amiha, followed by, um, Silver in the Bone, Not Here to Stay Friends, Shadow of the Horizon, Queen Bee, and The Lioness of Leiden. The second week of April, we have Everything She Feared, Fox Point's own Gemma Hopper, and I Am the Woolworths. Week three is going to be hell. <laughs> we have A Whole Song and Dance, The Shadow of Theron, Unleashed, Alejandra, The Knockout, which is a promo post I'm just going to do, um, The Secret Society for Tea and Treason, The First Dark Sorcerer, Audrey Covington Breaks the Rules, When We Had Summer, Granddad's Pride, which I've already read and reviewed, loved it, um, The Remarkable Retirement of Edith Fisher, and the last week of April, Bear With Me Now, Jaguars and Other Game, Shannon in the Spotlight, Superman of Earth, and A Sky of Flowers. And then the books that I want to get to that are kind of loosely on my April TBR, but like they're just net gallery reads, so I can read them whenever. Um, it is Go Hex Yourself, followed by What the Hex. <laughs> the Plus One, Andre and Santi Were Here, The Dead Lands Hunted, The Ghost of Rancho Espanto, Fateful Words, The Audrey Hepburn Hep uh, Estate, The Last Heir to Blackwood Library. Pieces of Me, Hot Dutch Daydream, The Cherished, Life and Other Love Songs, The Golden Doves, Olivia and the Gentleman from Outer Space, The One, Divine Rivals, Forget Me Not, which I've already read, so that one is, should be off the list, actually. Um, five out of five, by the way. <laughs> this Bird Has Flown, Wings Once Cursed and Bound, Desert Phoenix, Tell Me What Really Happened, Someone is always watching. This delicious death. French holiday. The gifts. And stars and smoke. So now we got that one out of the way. I'm going to go over what I'm doing for April. Um, so I went through, like I said, and I categorized everything. Uh, because I found that when I do a lot of work. Um, like I do like a work buddy session and stuff like that with a couple of friends. Um, but what I really enjoy doing. Um, is I put myself on a 50-10 timer. Uh, I work for 10, I work for 50 minutes, I break for 10, and then I read for 50 minutes and I break for 10. Then I just keep flopping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So um, I decided that what I should do is I should categorize everything and then I should read things. So like the first 50 minutes a day, I'm going to read the book that is on my computer and the second one's going to be an ebook, and the next one's going to be like a tour book, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and conti we continue downward. So then I went through, I categorized everything. I put everything in order of uh, when I needed to read it. And I've got a pretty good order right now. Um, the first one that we're starting off with, I'm still reading um, Midnight Strikes. Um, I am still working on it, but I should be finished like either in another reading session or uh, two. Um, really good, by the way. Um, I also, whenever I get a chance to work, I'm going to listen to Exiles by Jane Harper, um, which is an audiobook that I have. For my ebook, I am still currently reading it. Someone Had to Do It by Amber Brown and Danielle Brown. Um, that, again, I'll just, I'll get to it. <laughs> um, I'm 
I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with it. Then I have uh, books for a few readathons. The uh, first one, I'm still working on my Trans Rights Readathon book. Um, the next one I'm going to read is Self Made Boys, which is a Great Gatsby remix by Anna Marie McLemore. I ne always want to pronounce that really wonky. I am still working on the year of um, Aldia, um, my mini readathon uh, with book roast for magical readathon. So before I jump into my magical readathon books, which I'm going to go over in a second, um, I'm going to complete the last one that I have to complete um, because for January I did the Mysteries of Thorn Manor and for March I finished um, It's Boba Time for Pearl Lee. So my February prompt was Buildings on a Cover, so I chose They Went Left by Monica Hesse. I'm also doing a readathon with a local little um, indie, indie bookshop close to town um and it is called brave and kind they are doing um the reading challenge booklet they're going through every month picking out a few prompts and we read them together i'm vastly behind but i'm catching up um so january i um for the january prompt uh which was a book recommended to you by um a bookseller at your store or whatever. So I asked them and they recommended to me the Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So I'm going to read that. Um, I'm also doing a whole read through this year of the Bridgerton series. So I am reading The Duke and I. I had to restart it. So I'm on like page like 150 or whatever, but I'm pretty close to where I was before I finished off last time. Um, also reading um, the Percy Jackson series um, with my husband. And right now I am on The Lightning Thief. And with that, I'm also trying to read the Hunger Games series with my husband, so I'm on the Hunger Games for um, the category of previously started books, because I have a really bad problem of starting books and then just, like, leaving them behind, um, and I have quite a list to get through. Um, I'm going to finish up Glen Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. I'm also trying to finish up the, la the next new Syrian Girl um, from before I resorted everything because I'm almost done with it. But then for upcoming tour books, I'm going to be reading Ah Miha. And then I have a category of books that I was uh, previously on tour for that I didn't get to. Um, that one I'm going to be starting is Waking Fire by Jean Louise. And then ones that I'm going to start slowly squeezing in as I knock off to all these other prompts or I get rid of the books that are on that list. One of them is books in 2022 that I didn't finish um, reading. I was on tour for, didn't get to it. Um, so that one is Curse of the Spectre Queen by Jenny Elder Moik. Net Galley Reads from, you know, off my backlog. Um, that one is Anatomy, A Love Story by Dana Schwartz. Previous readathon books in 2022 I didn't get to. That one is All Our Hidden Gifts by Carolyn O'Donohue. And then I think this category was uh, previous books slash non books or ebooks, non tour reads. Um, this one I picked um, out of my little cups was Delilah Green Doesn't Care. And then the last one I added um, was just a books to be read. This is just books that I got that I've not put on the long-term TBR that are just kind of floating here. And I'm going to try to get this room cleared up before I go into the D&D room and start adding more books. Um, but that one is Museum of Magic by Beth Rebus. Now for the <laughs> exciting part. I am participating in the Aurelium um, Magical Readathon. I'm very, very excited. Um, me and my husband, we picked out prompts and all that stuff. Um, we did the whole character creation. Um, I'm going to pop it up here, but the artwork is licensed, so I will leave um, links and stuff, whatever, down below. Um, my character is Ada Ametz, um, who is this girl from the urban city of um, Dahmen. Dahmen, I'm not sure if I... I don't have my sheet with me. <laughs> Who's from an urban city um, over there. Um, she is an elf and she's uh, like elf heritage, whatever. And um, she was born during the, during a night when everything was in perfect alignment. The stars, the moon, the planets, everything perfectly aligned. Um, so they named her Ada. Um, and she has been on this kind of um, inquisitive quest all her life to figure out like what it really means. She's wanting to be a moon warden because she feels like there is something to this. Um, she has some sort of like pull to the moon. Um, so she is going to become a moon warden. That is what um, her 
whatever it is and she's obviously order of the crescent so her animal familiar is this tawny owl um who is named avic um <laughs> that i'll also show a picture for um yeah it's cute and because i do not have my sheet um page in the future is going to update you on the classes that i have to take for the spring equinox and the books that i've chosen on there because Everything got kind of lumped into a readathon shelf, and now I can't figure out which ones are for this readathon or not. Anyways, I will catch y'all up in a bit. <laughs> okay, I said I would come back when I um, when I got my notes. I do right here. So this is um, Ada's um, notes, her character sheet, whatever. So for the spring equinox, there were five classes um, that we had to choose. Um, books for the first one that I had for mine and I'm going for, what am I going for again moon warden I'm going for moon warden <laughs> and it made sense with everything the first class is elemental studies and the uh, prompt for that one is flower on cover so I chose the name bearer because there's there, there's flowers on the cover for that one <laughs> the next class is astronomy um and that one is two letter e's in the title so i chose there goes the neighborhood um there's many e's in that title so <laughs> the third one is art of illusion the prompt for that is match color of clothes to cover now um th these weren't the clothes that i was wearing i was wearing um a white tank top and over top of it a gray sweater so i chose seven faceless saints because it has um the gray black and white combined together the <laughs> you're gonna have to ignore the cat she's um having issues the fourth class is restoration and the prompt for that one was close your eyes shuffle and point so I closed my eyes and I shuffled my finger around a, a big TBR stack and I pointed at I Will Find You Again. So that is going to be that book. And the last one is Spells and Incantations. Target length of the prompt for that one is target length for the book has to be between two, 389 and 415. This one took a while for me to find. It took a while for Ethan to find too. Um, but my book for this one is Free Radicals. And that's it right now. <laughs> and also on top of this, I did get the prompts for April while I was not filming. <laughs> In between filming. Whatever you want to call it. Um, so the prompts for April for the Brave and Kind Readathon. The first one is attend an offer event, um, which I am going to do anyways. I'm going Friday to attend um, Silver in the Bone. So um, I put books for these even though you didn't really have to. So the book I have for this one is Silver in the Bone because I had to read that one anyways. Um, and then the second one is read somewhere you've never have before. Again, I chose a book for this prompt and I chose Sorry Bro and I'm going to go up um, on a reading retreat soon and I'm going to read up there somewhere. And yeah, that is it for my April TBR. It's a lot. I know. <laughs> like it always is. But yeah, so thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.